Hi, I'm Jason, and this is For Yarn's Sake, here to show you just how easy it can be to create your very own handmade crochet gifts. Make it unique, make it personal, make it easy. So now that we've already learned how to make a, a slip knot, today we're going to be tackling the foundation for most crochet, that is the chain. And once again, you will need your crochet hook, as well as your yarn. Once again, I'm just using worsted weight acrylic yarn. And go ahead and attach your slip knot to your hook so you look like this. You can see once again that you can pull it out and pull it back in. Pulling it out with the tail in, pulling it back in with the working yarn in. And again, the working yarn is the, the side attached to your ball skein or whatever you're using. So on your hook, you have one loop, which is your slip knot, and then you have your working yarn over here. I like to hold the tail between my thumb and my pointer finger and have my working yarn sliding through my pointer, pointer finger. This allows me to adjust the tension as needed as uh, the, the prop my project demands depending on how tight or loose I let allow the yarn to slip through my fingers. So then you take the yarn, loop it right over the top, so now you have two loops on your hook. And we're going to take this top loop and pull it straight through this bottom loop. But you'll notice if you just pull it straight through, it's not going to do anything. So what you're going to want to do is take your hook and turn it. So it's catching the working yarn and then simply pull it straight through the loop that's on your hook. And now that loop becomes the loop on your hook and you've just made your first chain. Well, once again, loop it around your hook, turn your hook as you pull down and pull it straight through the loop on your hook. Now this will take a little bit of practice, but it's very easy once you get the hang of it. And again, you can adjust the tension to make your loops tighter or you can make them looser, bigger loops, depending on how you need for your project. And I would suggest going through and making just just practicing this motion, going over and over and over. Making, you know, 500 or a thousand chains and this is the basic basis of most crochets you can turn this into a scarf uh, a hat uh, a blanket just about anything that you can you can think of starts with this basic form the chain now once again you have your working yarn here holding it in your hand holding your work with your with your other fingers and your working yarn through your your pointer finger you wrap around grab it and pull through the loop and it's as simple as that now holding the yarn this is my method of holding the yarn this is what I've developed over 15 or 20 plus years of crocheting um, there are as many different methods of holding yarn as there are crocheters. Uh, and it's one of the, the most difficult things to get a hang of right away. And so I would suggest just hold the yarn in your hands and see how it fits for you. Some people wrap it through their fingers and come up here and, and hold it like that and then just allow it to come through uh, based on how it's, it's held here. Uh, I think that's a little uh, a little complex for me, but uh, some people do it just fine. Some people wrap it all the way through their fingers, and it, it helps them adjust the tension as they need. But I find simple is best, and just wrapping around and pulling through. And once you do, once you do this, and once you practice this simple little motion of going through and going through, that is what you'll get. 
and it will form the basis of just about every single thing that you crochet. Once again, thank you very much, and I hope it helps.